Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines 2 where we've been working on our traffic patterns for the last little while and we're still in some rush hour here but we do have a need for commercial and low density residential so I actually want to we're, we're kind of dark right now I want to turn off the day night visuals for a moment there we go and we can work on something out over this way Cool, so this will be nice and easy, no major problems here. We can just have this get slapped in right about, where are you? There we go, right about there. We'll take that up, 116 meters is probably fine. Okay, and we'll just run this road right on over, checking our positioning here, it looks good. So no problem there, and then we'll just continue this up. That's 114 to this next location, seems fine. I don't have any problems with that. And we'll just bring that in. There we go. And one more. So this will be 112. Sure. Whatever. That's absolutely okay. Yep. This looks nice and straight. Beautiful. So the next one, of course, is going to be a little further up. That's going to be going right about there. I'm not convinced that this one is perfectly straight. The snapping is a little awkward. So this should be 224 meters. We'll just bring that in about like that. And we'll just assume that that's straight. I mean, we could take this in here, right? And verify. I guess we could definitely do that. Yeah, that's straight. Okay, looks good. So that'll be fine. Now we need to connect up these roads here. Sure, that'll do. It's mildly awkward potentially, but yeah. That's all fine. These should just connect straight in. I don't know why these are apparently unzoned now. Apparently that changed the zoning of this in a really awkward way. I'm gonna take that out and I'm going to re-extend it out through here. That's no, still changed like that. Okay, whatever. I guess that's reasonably fine. So now of course what we need to do is we need to extend these roads northward. I'm going to do this in angle snap only mode. And we're just going to bring these guys right into our existing guidelines. So that looks good. We'll do the same thing over here. One, two, three, and four. That'll be fine. And down here. One, two, three, four. Are there hotkeys for these? That would be nice. I don't think there are, though. So we'll finally get this one. Okay. So angle snap only, one, two, three, and four. So that'll do just fine for getting all of that done. Now we just need to do the highways over here. So that is going to be coming out in theory from here. I don't think that's straight though. So I'm going to remove this for the time being and we're going to bring this out from here. Angle snap only mode, and we want this to be 10 meters off the ground. So we'll just drop a pillar there. I think that's the same level of maybe it's straight. <laughs> we'll see. And we need this guy to come in up over here and just do something like that. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's reasonably straight. I think it's good enough at any rate. And then we'll do the same thing here. I'm just going to knock this guy back, and we're going to extend this out further from oh where are we here okay that seems good dropping a pillar on this side of the street then this side this side yep that should all be relatively good we can drop a pillar about there and then one right at the city limits okay can we build a roundabout here? Yes, we can. And we'll replace that if it causes issues. I don't expect it to cause issues out over this way. So that'll be okay. And of course, now we need to do our on-off ramps. And again, I don't expect significant issues with these. So we'll just have an on-ramp. And that off-ramp is a little bit too narrow in. This is a little too wide, but that's fine. And now we'll forbid our left-hand turns. And we'll do the same up over here with an off-ramp. And an on-ramp. Okay. No left-hand turns allowed. That looks good. Then we'll need to do the same thing out over here, of course. On-ramp and off-ramp. 
Cool. No left hand turns. And up over here, an off ramp and an on ramp. So that'll be right about here, off ramping there and on ramping about here ish. That's a little too wide out, but it doesn't matter all that much. I, I don't love these angles, but it'll do. Okay, so no left hand turn allowed here, no left hand turn allowed here. Okay, so that gets us this meta block good to go. Let's just rezone this up with low density housing. I'll just grab from here and zone it straight on over. I guess we could zone this up here too, but some of that will have to be eliminated a little later on. So that'll give us some amount of low density residential command, or rather demand. That may or may not be enough. We'll see. It's uh, going to be real interesting, but we can expand up here further if we need to. Now, the commercial area. This is significantly more complicated. Extremely significantly more complicated. How do we want to go about tackling it? Because I'm currently thinking about like this area out over here. We would have to make sure that the windmills... I mean, we've already got a windmill in here, right? We would have to make sure that these windmills are in a decent position, or we could just eliminate the windmills. We know we have plenty of power generation. This is not actually telling us how much that we're exporting. We probably need to tick it forward a little bit. So let's do that for right now. Ticking that forward ever so slightly. Okay. Now if we check in here... Yeah, we can see that we definitely don't need this wind farm. How much is our upkeep on that? 15000 a month? We probably don't make more from the trade than we make from the wind turbines. So I'm going to just eliminate the wind turbines for right now. And that will, of course, mean that we're going to need to remove these power lines as well. So these are, I believe, overground power lines? Yes. These overground power lines need to be removed. And this will open us up some space here, but it's still going to be awkward out in this area. No doubt about that. So what direction does this go? Underground? Yes, it goes underground. Okay. So that goes out to this Firewatch Tower. We can also get rid of that, I feel like. Okay. So we get rid of the Firewatch Tower. We get rid of the power lines. We get rid of the wind farm. It's not very necessary at this point. We have so much power generation from our hydroelectric power, and we could theoretically get more from hydroelectric. And we've also got a huge amount from our incineration plant, from our solar power plant. Like, we have a lot of power plants, right? We don't need more. So next up, this cannot be a roundabout and also cannot get extended out this direction. But what it can do is get extended out what this direction and i suspect that we want to, to do exactly but that say the, the question is, is okay we can drop a pillar there we know you can't and then we can just bring this guy up over here ish that wants to go underneath here and that's probably fine we'll just put in an overpass so that just ends up being something like that now as far as this bend goes we're going to knock this out a little bit. In fact, I'm going to take out a huge amount of this. We're just going to take it back to there. And we're going to extend this highway out from here in a straight line. Because the other one was a little curved as well. So this is going to work here. I want to be in like this view here. And we're going to need this to be at like up 20 meters, but it's going to need to come down over here eventually. So I think we'll just have a bit of a grade down this way. And then we'll just bring this through. We're probably going to have pillar issues later. I'm just going to merge these together for now. We'll have this be an underpass soon enough. But I just want to make sure that we are conforming decently to the terrain and that we're not having big concrete areas like this. That is our current check. Also, I think that we may have picked up a bit of a bend right over here. So let's get rid of that. And let's just extend this guy on out this direction. Okay. 
angle snap only mode and we're just rebuilding this highway out this way i'm not sure where our connection point is going to end up being over here but we can see we're a little further north but this is actually not nearly as big of a bend as it was going to be previously okay let's take this overpass out entirely as well as removing this overpass. Well, we can leave it like this. That'll be fine. Okay, so now the question is, if we bring this in straight, where does that put us as far as being over here goes? So we could definitely bend it in down this direction at a slight angle and correct it like that. That is a lot less noticeable than what we had going on over here. I think that's very clear. Okay, so that sounds great. Next, we're going to need to get ourselves this on-ramp over here. So that's going to need to come up somewhere around here. And then an off-ramp coming down over here. We'll forbid left-hand turns here. Oh, that's not actually connected up here. Get out of here. Okay, so now we'll bring this in from about here down over here this way. Oh, that slope too steep. Maybe back here? Yeah, that works fine. No left-hand turn allowed here. And any of these others with left-hand turns? Yeah, this is not allowed. This is not allowed. Okay. So there we go. Now we can do this overpass, and that will be absolutely fine. We'll just bring this in to about uh, maybe about here or so. Seems reasonable. This will come in about there awkwardness ensues because it's not actually connected. Okay. It'll need to come in more like that, which is reasonably fine. And then this will, of course, come in up over here. That slope too steep, but we can do it there. This becomes very awkward here, and I would like to extend this highway out a little further, so we'll just bring that out something like that, just to clean that up a little bit. Okay. Now we'll bring this guy in down here, and we will, of course, forbid our left-hand turns here. No left-hand turn here or here. No left-hand turn here. That all looks reasonably fine. This area should now go down to a two-lane, two-way highway from here on over. And the same thing should happen like that. Okay. And over here, this should go to a two-lane, two-way highway like that. Cool. Cool. Now we can come all the way out over here, taking out these sections of highway. And I'm not sure where exactly we're going to want to take this. I think we need to extend this road out as a guideline for ourselves. So we'll bring this road out in angle snap only mode. And it's potentially going to be a little problematic up over here. Yeah, a little bit. It's not too bad. And that's just a guideline. And I want to take this road, but that's going to be complicated. Okay, so we're going to need to move this guy up over here-ish. Over here-ish. You know what? I'm going to do it this way. We're going to extend this up 112 meters in straight line. And then we're going to bring it over here. Of course, we've got a pillar issue right here. We can get that eliminated for the time being. We can build out all of our little streets. That would probably not be a bad idea. And I want to bring this over to be snapping in basically right here. Hang on. I'm wondering about what we've got going on here. This is 123 meters. Sure. Okay. What I would really like this to do is snap to the center point, but it's not going to do that. So we're going to need to have it be somewhere out over here, right? We'll call that fine. And then this is going to need to go like 112 meters out here. And then that needs to come up this direction, like so. And that gives us what we need to work with. So we can just do something kind of like that. And now we can extend this road northward. Surprisingly, no pillar issue there. And from here, we can bring this road over to about here. There we go. If we had this road underneath here, this would be... Yeah, that's about right. Okay, that looks good. So no problem there. We need to bring this road over to approximately here, but that is not exactly correct on the angling. 
that's okay. But we need to figure out how we want to handle that angling. This is fine here, no problem. This road, I think, is actually where the issue lies. So we can take this out. We don't have to rely on that angling and we can bring it in here instead. This is actually slightly better. Yeah, I prefer this. So now we're going to bring this guy up like so. Surprisingly, no pillar issue there. And now for the next road, that'll come from about here. Yep, that looks good. Surprisingly, no pillar issue there either. So then the next road will be over here. I am a little bit concerned about one of these roads having on-ramps. And to be precise, it is this one. So we'll see how that ends up going. That'll be interesting to see about on-ramps and off-ramps going here where we've got that going on. We may have to adjust that height. That is definitely a possibility. So that is this area ready to go on the small roads. Let's extend this highway now. And that is, of course, going to be a pillar right about here would be fine. I want this to be an angle snap only mode. And we'll put this here, here. This is going to need to go down to about here. Overlapping items, pillar issue, pillar issue. Okay, so we'll just take that out for now. How are we feeling about this angling? It is at a bit of an angle, I feel like. So I'm going to take this out and rebuild this. That'll be fine. We probably needed to do it anyway, but I mean, actually, I don't think we did. But we do need to pull this out of here for the moment and bring it out about like this. Angle snap only mode. And I'm going to drop a pillar here. 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 I'm going to do one exactly on the other side of the street. And then we'll go down to here, here, and then going back up as we cross here. That slope too steep. So we might have to back this off ever so slightly. I was hopeful that we'd be able to just plop a pillar right over here, right? That was the idea anyway. Maybe we can sneak one in. No, that slope too steep. So we're going to have to back off a little bit. What I want to do then is be snapped into this point here. That exceeds city limits. Ooh, okay. We're going to have to not snap to zone grid. We'll just snap to guidelines. So that'll be like right there. And then we'll need to bring this down as close as we can, which is about here. I don't know how well that's gonna go, to be honest. And we can see there's a pretty big seam right there, but let's see how this goes as we develop this further. So that's going to need to be connecting out over here. So we're going to need like a pillar here or so. This is coming back as overlapping items here. So the problem here is that we've got, I think, a bit of a buildup here. Okay. Let's just try to connect this in like this. Then we bring this guy out just to the other side of this highway, maybe about here or so. And then try to connect it in up this way. 19.6, huh? I'm going to take these sections of road out and we're just going to bring it up out over this way. That slope too steep at a 20% grade. So we're going to have to back it off a little bit further. This is a viable thing. Okay. As far as getting this road under it, this is probably going to go poorly. Let's see how that ends up going. Yeah. So I'm not surprised that we've got overlapping items here. Not surprised in the slightest. So I think what we really need to do here is change up our sloping here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the slope terrain tool, grab this height, and we're just going to grab from here and just slope our way right on down like so. Then we can try to bring this road across. I don't know that I grabbed that correct lane. There we go. Yep, like that. Bring our road across like so and then expand this highway to go underneath. Ideally to like right here. Let's just go to angle snap mode. 
So ideally to approximately here. And then we bring it up. But I'm not convinced that that's going to... Well, actually, that's only a 19% grade there. We are still getting overlapping items. It would need to come in out over here, which is like a 26% grade. Okay. So we're going to have to knock this back and bring this just barely underneath, right? So we're going to have to position this approximately in angle snap only mode, approximately right here. And then we're going to have to start bringing it up already. So that is going to be coming what through. Kind of we can actually put this in right here. Look to its path? Can we get well, it over on this I side? The question speaks for itself. Here Hang on. on. Moon, we know you can't move Got him. Okay. So that'll do. On it's behind. a little awkward for sure. And this is, of course, a highway to nowhere. And but now we need to try to do our store. overpass. Like, exits. And this is going to be very interesting. We'll see how this goes. We may have some slope too steeps going on, but this isn't bad. We can certainly do that. And then bring this guy in somewhere over here. That's giving us overlapping items. From what? Okay, it's just fine. When I tried it again. Sure. And then this one would come out somewhere over this way. And then this one would come in somewhere over this way. That slope too steep at a 20% grade. That's actually pretty close. We can put it in there. So if that's the case, I want to move this exit slightly back and just have it look a little bit closer to symmetrical. It's not exactly symmetrical any way we slice it, right? But something along the lines of that. So no left-hand turns in any of these locations. That looks good. We need to take this down to a two-lane, two-way highway here for traffic flow purposes and one here as well okay so something about like that is what we're angling for that was not too bad now we can see about our on and off ramps over here so we need one here and one here this one's probably not gonna be too bad this one i don't know how this is gonna go that slope too steep at a seven percent grade hang on i think that's actually the pillar causing an issue there that's not bad. Wow, look at that pillar clip. Okay, uh, we'll bring this guy in and uh, yeah, I don't like that clipping pillar. That's for sure. Let's see if we can't dial that back a little bit. It's still pretty rough there. I mean, it's just visual. It's not actually going to cause any effects with our traffic flow. So for the moment, that's reasonably fine. Although, I believe this is backwards, isn't it? We need on-ramp over here. Obviously, no on-ramp here would exist. This would be an off-ramp that would end up going out this way. Because, yeah, I built that backwards. So an off-ramp that goes out this direction is what we'd be looking at. That's giving us invalid shapes and slope too steep. We can do it back over here. There would not be an analogous on-ramp over here because of the oil refinery. We can't get one in, and everything just kind of terminates over here. So we'll just have it be like that. And then this one, the on and off ramps would go here. So this would be an off ramp over on this side, overlapping items due to pillar. Sure, there will work. And then an on ramp on this side, no problem. So that's absolutely fine. Then we can do this side, which is going to be slightly spicier. No doubt about that. This would be an on-ramp over here. That just went in without a problem. And an off-ramp over here. That slope too steep, but it's not that steep of a slope. That said, what we really need to do here is deal with this grade, right? So I'm going to take out this section of road. We're going to use our level terrain tool. I'm going to turn this down to around 50, grabbing this height, and we're just going to put it about there. And then a slope terrain tool, and we're just going to do something like that. And we'll smooth that out once we have everything built through. Then I'm going to bring this guy out to about here. And then we, we can connect it down here in theory. But what I want to do first is I want to get this ramp connected in. Like that. Then we can see about bringing this road through. That slope too steep. But we can do that. Okay. Whoa. What do we have going on here? That looks very normal. Definitely. That definitely looks extraordinarily normal. 
I'm going to take that out. We had a little bit of a chunk there that is almost certainly not helping. So rebuilding this will probably, yeah, it's just fine. Sure, that's absolutely okay. So we're going to need to forbid left-hand turns here, and that's the only location. So now for the really spicy one. So we're going to need an off-ramp up over here. I expect problems on the other side, on the on-ramp side, but this is an off-ramp out over this way. This is probably okay. This one, I don't know about. It might be fine, though. It is. Okay, cool. I mean, we've got a pillar clipping through, but that's fine. We're not actually concerned about that. Wow, that actually just kind of worked. Remarkable. So the question is, do we want dense or light commercial over here? I think the answer is I want mostly high density business, like within this meta block and maybe even going out over here. So this is going to be something along the lines of this and then low density maybe up over here. No, I think I'm going to have this all be high density. And we've even got a little bit of extra space up over here that we can zone high density. So it would just be something kind of like that. Now these over here were low density and they should probably be rezoned. There we go. Okay, so that'll be fine. These guys are gonna need to re-pathfind a little bit, but it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And actually, before I do that, I wanna double check. Yeah, this was this overpass was brought down to two lane. Okay, this one is not fully set up though. We can definitely go around and find overpasses where we need to force the lanes into certain maneuvers like this. And we can definitely find those and quote unquote upgrade them into the new paradigm, which is going to be this. There we go. But that is a job for next episode. And before we go, I should probably turn the day night visuals back on. It's going to get very dark here, but there we go. Excellent. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Kintogen, Ali Lee, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.